Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I'm going to be talking about like the first time I like. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be like the first time, but it would be like the time I found out that I had anxiety and like telling my parents and like whatever and like all of that. Cause I'm like, I feel like it was a really bad experience. So maybe it would be interesting to you guys. I don't know. So when I was in high school, I was taking, I think this was in 11th grade, I was taking an elective and it was accounting because my mom was like, oh, you should try out accounting because like, who knows what you want to go to college for. <laughs> Turns out I do not want to be an accountant, <laughs> but I really liked the elective, but the elective was kind of just like intro to accounting, like kind of like just like the basic accounting principles and how to do it I guess not like when I started getting more into like like the real parts of accounting I was like I don't like this not no anyways <laughs> so accounting was my seventh period class and I had eight periods and I just remember like okay for a lot of my accounting classes we had a workbook and we would just get like exercises to do in the workbook and the workbook was very self-explanatory. So a lot of times for like the whole class period, you would just do whatever my teacher assigned to do in the workbook. We would do it, he would check it. And then when we were done, we could go on our phones, do whatever we wanted. And I finished like really quick because I was really good at it. So anyways. <laughs> I was in accounting and I was sitting, I sat in one of the front rows of the class. The class was kind of in like a horseshoe type shape and I was in one of the like the front desks and I was just like sitting at my desk doing my work and this is the first time I ever had a panic attack and it felt so weird just because like I feel like I barely remember it. But, like, I remember how, it, like, the feelings of it. But I remember thinking and, like, feeling my face get, like, really hot and red. And feeling like I couldn't breathe. But trying to not, like, hyperventilate because I didn't want to draw, to, like, draw attention to myself. Because, like, the room was silent because people are just, like, working on the workbooks. So I remember just, like, sitting at my desk and I felt my face get, like, so hot and, like, red. Um... And I remember my heart was like racing and it feel, felt like I couldn't breathe, but I was like trying to not hyperventilate because <laughs> I didn't like, I was in like the front row, so I didn't want people to like look at me and like whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. <laughs> and then, um, after like, I just like kept working on my workbook because I was like, well, <laughs> what else am I going to do? Um. And then it just like went away and I was like, that was weird. What the heck was that? <laughs> um, so just so you all know, anxiety runs in my family. My mom has it. My mom is on anxiety medication, the same medication I'm on. So she has anxiety. She's had anxiety. Like, so it's like a genetically passed down thing. I've even had, like, there's examples of me even being anxious when I was like little I had like separation anxiety I had like anxiety over everything basically <laughs> so anyways I remember just like one night just like researching like a ton of stuff because I was like this is weird what was that am I dying like <laughs> and of course you know when you like google stuff whatever you like whatever you put in as your symptoms google's like you're dying <laughs> So that was not helpful and I just remember like finally figuring out that there is this thing called anxiety and I was like oh my gosh there's panic attacks what if that's what I had do I have anxiety like oh my gosh what the heck because I knew I like <laughs> like I've always been a shy person I guess that could be linked to my anxiety like 
I don't know. <laughs> um, but I always knew, like, I didn't like going out with, like, lots of people and, like, doing stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, I never wanted to go to, like, parties and stuff. Like, I want to be with, like, my close friends who I, like, know. I don't like meeting new people and, like, whatever. I don't have social anxiety, so, like, I can go out with, like, and be around tons of people as long as I don't have to, like, talk to all these people. Like, <laughs> I have generalized anxiety, so that's just, like, you're anxious over anything and everything. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I, like, found out that, okay, I probably have anxiety, that was probably a panic attack. That's not good. <laughs> um, and I, it's like hard to remember. This was like years ago. I remember I wanted to write a letter to my parents to explain like what I was going through, but like, I wanted to write it down so I could remember everything. Like, that was the purpose of me writing it down. Because I wanted to, like, get out all my thoughts and make sure I didn't forget anything. And, like, obviously, when you, like, are trying to tell your parents something like this. And you have anxiety. <laughs> it's very, like, nerve-wracking. So, I, like, wrote this letter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> something very upsetting to me <sighs> breathe <laughs> and I like told my parents okay I'm writing you a letter <sighs> oh my gosh I can't calm down <sighs> <sighs> and my mom like didn't want to read the letter <laughs> and I don't know she thought it was something bad <laughs> Or what? <laughs> so I gave the letter to my dad and he's not usually like the person I go to when it's like <laughs> something like this. And he read the letter and he called a family meeting. I miss like a lot of school and I really wanted to go to online school because school was what was making me so anxious. <laughs> Why am I like, so upset? <laughs> this was like years ago. <laughs> and my mom basically said she wasn't going to send me to online school because she wanted me to like overcome it, which when you like have anxiety over something, you're not like, gonna overcome it you're always gonna be anxious like about that like school is like my main thing I was anxious over I sound so stuffed up I went to an allergist appointment today and they said my nose was swollen because of my allergies and like that's part of why I went to online college because it wasn't just like school it was being in the school building I don't know why it's just how it was and then I come to find out that she had never told me that she has anxiety and I was like oh my gosh why would you not tell me that I'm like predisposed to like having this and I have to like trying to figure out what's wrong with me like don't you think a parent should like tell their kid like genetic things they're like predisposed to like my dad has heart disease and high cholesterol and he always told me that and be like oh you should like when you get your blood work done once a year when you go to the doctors for like your physical oh see what your cholesterol is because I knew mine was high by the age I was 17 so we always were like checking my cholesterol to see if I inherited that and she never told me that I could get anxiety like passed down and like being an anxious teenager in high school trying to figure out what's wrong with you 
I was really mad that she wouldn't tell me this because I feel like she should have told me that this like ran in our family like and that I could like get it and she says she didn't want to tell me so that I wouldn't like think that I had it but she has told me she already could tell when I was like young like elementary school age that I was like anxious so like if she already thought I had it then why not just tell me like I don't understand it and she still doesn't agree with the decision that she didn't tell me and I guess that's why I'm so upset because I feel like she should have told me because I feel like I have like a right to know like what I could be like predisposed to like I guess more of the story ask your parents what you might be predisposed to like so that you can be on the lookout for it like she told me every other thing that like ran in our family like my dad's side is like heart disease high blood pressure high cholesterol on my mom's side there's like thyroid disease thingies like but she didn't tell me about anxiety and like I feel like that is like not fair anyways I hope you enjoyed this video of me explaining how I found out I had anxiety and how I told my parents um if you have any traumatic anxiety stories please leave them down below I would love to read them um, if you have any questions about my anxiety you can comment them down below and maybe I'll do another video about my anxiety I feel like it's been a while since I've done an anxiety chat video but I haven't actually been very anxious lately for some reason which is weird because I hate my classes and they're stressing me out but who knows? Anxiety is very mysterious. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on my post notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.